Hey guys, so today I want to check out a product that I've been checking out before on other smartphones but today we'll be dropping my Samsung Galaxy S3, it's actually my main smartphone in water and we will be using the Winter Gear uh, waterproof skin series that I already tried out on the iPhone 5 and on the Samsung Galaxy Note so let's uh, open this one up and uh, the instructions should be exactly the same if you haven't seen my earlier videos it's very very simple how you put it on there's some very very straightforward instructions so let's just open this one up and as you see i also have some water over here so we will be trying it out So the stuff that we did get is inside of this one. You can see it's empty right now. So you do have the installation instructions the first time you're doing this. So it could be good to read. So you get two of these that you will put your phone inside and you should use these maximum two times for security reasons. And then you get four of these, so you will seal it on the back side. And you should use uh, maximum two at the, each of these ones. And then also you get those stickers, so you put the one back on the phone uh, and see if, if there is any water that is leaking into the device. You should also definitely see if there's any holes because you don't want that, that would suck pretty bad, especially because this is my main smartphone. So how do you put it on? Well, as I've just been showing in other videos, start off by just putting it in. And it may take a few few minutes to put this one on. Okay, sweet. There we go. You can see a little bit of a another one part here that you get uh, over the camera. I suppose that is to get some better pictures. So now you can have one final look uh, to see if you see any holes or anything like that because that would suck pretty bad. <laughs> so what you want to do right now is you want to put one of these on on the back side. And that one will change color if water is leaking <laughs> into the device and then of course you just want to you want to take it up. And then you put one of these on, on the back. And <laughs> now you can just go swim. And you can also use the touch. The camera should also be no problem whatsoever. Also the buttons seems to be working. But of course you won't be able to charge your device once you have this one on. It's a more for the beach kind of guy that may be in water places and you just wanna be 100% sure. So let's do this. And if that one changes color, you want to take up your device because that is not a good sign. Uh, 
and you can't use the touch screen when you are below water so that could also be something uh, worth mentioning over there or something that you might want to know but it's fully working as you see over here no problem whatsoever and if you want to get the touch to work again of course you just need to let it dry or clean it off So if you want to check it out a little bit more, I will have a link in the description so you can uh, check out the product, the uh, availability and stuff like that. So until next time, just have a good day and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace.